morning everybody uh, today is day 12 and I uh, look just frightful um, but anyway it's an hour let's see it's just past one I woke up it was almost uh, 12 so I just barely made eight hours and uh, after being on a half a dose for two days and then uh, the full dose last night I could say that you know it's rough when I wake up I met you can see that I'm I'm <laughs> Look like I haven't had any sleep at all. Um, it's early for me to do this, but I, I wanted to get what it's like when I wake up. I wake up automatically um, depressed. Um, a feeling of uh, overwhelmingness, which can... Um, be anxi anxiety but these two things are just instant you know instant as soon as I wake up because of the um, sedation of uh, my medication from night time and this is the thing that I don't like I don't like waking up like that, I don't like this. I don't like waking up and uh, struggling to come around. This is why, you know, I don't want to remain like this. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to, you know. Um, Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick, if the camera battery doesn't die on me, but I wanted to, okay, it's rethinking time again. I wanted to show you all something. This is my uh, pill cutter, which, you know, I think over, the blade is sharp, but... I don't know, it's not sharp enough without, <clears throat> you know, um, getting the doses just right. But anyway, this is my um, Seroquel. Seroquel, this is a 300 tablet, and I don't ever take 300. A year ago, I was able to go down to half that, which is 150. So that's a 150. And of course I was halving this. Putting it in here. Like so. And then as quick as possible you cut it in half. So there's the two halves which are uh, now uh, 75 so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a 75 and I'm going to put that on here as best I can I need my glasses for this because it's hard to see try to line it up as best I can which is not easy and cut that in half. So now I have a 75 and a half of a 75. Uh, which would make that, uh, what's half a 75? Mm, 35, 10, 35, I guess. 
but that's what I'm going to do. This is uh, not an exact tapering, but it is more of a tapering. And I'm going to stick with this. You know, it's more than uh, me halving my dose, but it's still less than a full, you know, my full dose. So that's what I'll take at night. And then there's the ramrod. Uh, Ramron right here see that I was splitting it in half taking that half a dose but now I got the half a dose and then I'm going to take the other half this is so hard because it's just a small peel it might fragment it but you get it in there as good as you can, line it up the best you can, and hope that this cutter isn't going to demolish this pill, which takes some real adjusting. <laughs> like I said, this isn't the best cutter in the world for doing this. You know, not for tapering anyway. There's something you could get on Amazon. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was good. So now that half a dose, which was a 30, which I split in half, which was a 15. I took the um, 15 and split that into two. So now I have <clears throat> the half a dose which is 15 plus half a 15 <laughs> I don't know what that is <laughs> because my mind right now cannot think at all but that will be you know more than just going completely half. So 15, 15, 0, T. It's real. Anyway, y'all figure it out. <laughs> That's it. So we got that ready. Last one is the requit for the rest of the leg, which is 2 milligrams. I can already cut this one in half. Uh, there's one and one. <clears throat> so I'm going to take um, the one milligram, put that in the little cutter. Oh, please cut it good. Oh, that was a soft cut, but it cut it. It's not always going to be that good can't believe I'm doing that right after I get up. So now I have a one dose, which is uh, in decimal points or percentages. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to say I am now taking one milligram and then half of a one milligram. So I have my pills all ready for tonight. Um, the one thing after you cut these, you sure want to be able to still identify them. Maybe it's better just to keep them all separated so you don't mix anything up. You know, but if you can remember the shapes. better not to leave them all together in here I think you know set them aside in their little groups one two three so you make sure that you're not taking the wrong pills anyway just wanted to demonstrate that is what I'm going to do so this is a semi-tapering. 
certain um, because then you would have to make the doses even smaller than that which is going to leave me with crumbs you know shatter the pills I was able to do this where they're still intact um, they're pretty um, pretty well even on you know after you split them on either side so and then I'm going to stay on that for we're going for a week it may be you know two weeks before you um, take away that extra little bit that you were on your body uh, okay my body needs to adjust to that so that's not a half a dose but it's uh, one and a half more than you know going completely half which you know is causing too many side effects too too much withdrawal you know and then bouncing back and forth you know two days or even one day and then a full full dose it's just it it's you know I might start getting better and then I'm gonna slip during the day you know at all times because like I said you're keeping your body in a confused state and um, that's not working either it's not working for me you know my body and my mind aren't working with with that um, routine although you know I didn't give it but two tries at one and a half one day you know and then a half a dose two days and then a whole dose again you know because I don't want to be in this state of waking up I meant dreams are horrific vivid horrific dreams just they come from you know, there's, it's kind of like nightmares in a way. There are dreams where I just don't understand where this stuff, you know, comes from, you know, watching movies, you know, there's like bits and pieces that might be coming from there, but there's people that I don't know in these dreams, and sometimes you're, um, you're doing things that you don't do, you know, you don't do it all, you know, and I, I don't know what, you know, why does it have to be me in the dream, you know, if it was just about other people, okay, maybe that'd be cool, but, you know, I don't want to be a participant in my own dream, you know, maybe that's the way it always is when you dream you always have to be in your own dreams and I don't like the things that happen to me or the things that I do in my dreams because I don't do them in real life so why am I doing them in these dreams you know I don't have to discuss my dreams I try not to dwell on them unless it's a a unique dream I know you know there's some meaning in there somewhere you know or why I'm a reason for why you're dreaming a particular thing sometimes it's easy to okay you know that makes sense especially whatever you're going through but anyway, don't want to get into dreams, <laughs> but I don't like it, you know, for the longest time, you know, it was, I, if I dreamt, I never remembered my dreams, it was as if I never dreamt, 
but you know, um, they say you have to dream. It's a coping mechanism. Um, it's a way to <clears throat> your body releases whatever things that you're experiencing, but there I go getting back into the dreams. I just wanted to document this. I just look like death warmed over. I look horrifically horrible. Um, and I'm not, still not getting to bed. You know, for goodness sakes. Is that just stubbornness, ignorance? Um, what the heck is that? I just don't, I don't get it. I don't understand my own self. I really don't. You know, I, like I said yesterday, don't start something that you're going to have, that you're going to be so involved in. And that's what I did last night. I, you know, something that takes time, something you have to wait on. <clears throat> Something that you have, to, once you start, you can't stop, you know, bad. I just wish I could break this vicious cycle of that, you know, while I'm trying to do this. I mean, I have no discipline, none. And all I can say is it's a good thing I don't work because I wouldn't have a job. Anyway, <laughs> I never... Now, when I wake up, I get up, but, you know, I can't function. But enough of that for today, for now, unless something happens later in the day. I just hate recording when I look like, I, I look so horrible. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to, <coughs> you want something documented as it really is. <clears throat> And that involves um, looking at someone that you're not used to seeing. Looks so horrible. You know, so I apologize for that. But um, I know I can look better. Um, and I will. Um, and the tiredness and the uh, extra weight that I've put on because of that blood pressure pill has really been a bummer. A good 15 pounds, I don't know. It could be more. I'm really not sure. Um, but I have a friend that's wanting to do things together and she used to go to the fitness center too and is not motivated, can't get motivated. She is such a super sweet, kind, beautiful person. And um, she came over for a visit one day just recently. And um, I think because that is something I extremely want, need and want to do so badly for having a membership for years and not being there for a year at a time. <laughs> you know, that we both could, you know, help each other to get back in there, so that would be a good thing. So, that is my new strategy for my medication. And, um, as my brain comes around, after um, this morning, as of this morning, um, it, it gets a little better. It's just waking up in that, <clears throat> you, you just wake up to very depressed, you know, and instantly overwhelmed because you have this routine and it's like, mm, oh, I hate that, the, the, it, it, it's even worse than that. It's like your mind, for me, it's like your mind instantly wants to like 
okay, I've had enough. I give up. I quit. You know, in that frame of mind. And it's instantly. It's those three things. You wake up with them. You know, I mean, it's frightening. Anyway, just wanted to add that. This is live as it happens, right here with Karen. So, I'm not putting this out for anybody to see. I don't know if I ever will, but, you know, I'm making them anyway. You know, we'll see what happens in the future. But right now, I'm the only one watching these. So I just want to say hello, uh, stay safe, thank you faithful friends, if you're still around, um, and uh, I miss so many people. Anyway, we'll keep at it, and have a great day. It is Wednesday, and uh, day 12, I'm at, I'm keeping track of the days, even though, you know, it's not work, you know, I'm not sticking with the full withdrawal thing, but it's a process, and so that makes this one a little bit different, you know, is the ways to figure out for me, as an example, what might work, what doesn't work, and um, where um, I'm trying to fix me, and for whoever it may benefit in the long run, this is for you. Okay, <clears throat> with that I say goodbye until maybe later. And maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I just never know. Mm. No surprise. But take care. Signing off. See you later. Bye-bye.